So let's cover binding off, casting off, finishing off. Let's get it done. So what you wanna do is that you wanna concentrate to the side where the strand is going. So you can bind off this way or that way. It doesn't really matter. So what you wanna do is that you want to take your last one. So if this is over here, you're going to start here and you're going to just pull it up and take the second loop and pull it through and just hang on to that second loop and just pull it to the maximum that it can pull out. You're gonna take the next one and pull that through that one. And you're gonna continue to do that all the way across your project just like that. And you're gonna get to your very last one. So now what do you do? Well now you can just cut your yarn here. So what I do is that I would cut two uh, loops away. So cut on the opposite side of the two. Now you're gonna take those two loops and you're gonna open them up. So just coming down into the base. Don't cut like in the middle of a, a loop. You wanna cut down to the base because that's where the strand is attaching. So you'll feel it with the scissors. See, and it's just opening up. So cut down. And there you go. So you're gonna take that strand and just feed it through the final loop. And that will help lock it but you're not quite done. So what you're going to do is take this strand here and get your darning needle and feed it through. Okay, I always favor going to the back side and just feed it through the stitch work. Try not to feed it through anywhere that it's gonna become obvious that it's sitting there. Okay, so just pull it but don't pull it to the point where it's gonna warp your project and then simply go in the other direction and I would do that a total of three times. That's why I'm cutting two loops apart. Three times is a charm. Therefore you can just safely now cut it and you're good to go. That was how you bind off and if you left an extra long strand at the beginning then you can just take the same thing, take, put it through the darning needle and just feed it through as well. So that's how you do the bind off.